I'm fourth generation. Great grandparents bought the property 1896, came from Ireland. It was a dairy farm and we started planting kiwi fruit. International trade is the only way the world's going to keep existing because some countries are better at producing food, other countries are better at producing technology. 10,000 New Zealand dairy farmers, 2,500 kiwi fruit orchardists, and then sheep and beef on top of them, all of them benefit from free trade and supplying the world. And it's fundamental because it's an export return that comes back to this country in terms of cash. It's sustainable, that pays the bills, and it's shared with a fairly large percentage of the New Zealand population. You do get the flow on effect in terms of communities and employment and service industries and towns. And so as demand grows, it feeds through the economy into all those other sectors. We're all the same. We all participate in schools and our children go to the same schools and play sports together. This is our natural advantage is to produce food for the world. The world's short of food, so why not? Every visit you do to any market around the world, it's the first instinct of a grower to go and try and find their fruit in the box. It's like a treasure hunt, really. We found our own gold kiwi fruit in the markets in Milan, wandering through the markets, identifying the capon on a tray of kiwi fruit and saying, that's our kiwi fruit. The world has to trade with one another because otherwise the world ceases to feed itself. It doesn't work without international trade.